Hey guys, what's going on? Alex here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to save battery life in your iOS 7 device. So let's go right ahead and get started. So the first thing you have to do is, of course, reduce your brightness. Now, for the purpose of this video, I do have the brightness turned on all the way, but I normally keep it about that minimum, right up below 40%. That's what I recommend keeping your brightness when using it as your daily use. But if you're outside, I understand you can bump it up a little, but if when you go back inside, I recommend turning it off. Now, be careful of your flashlight again, because sometimes a lot of people leave that on. That's not a tip, but just letting you know, just a little reminder. Alright, now, let's go ahead and get started. Now, with the main one, I just want to show you guys one big one, is in the general. And if we go to the general option in the settings application, we're going to go down to back app run, background app refresh. Now, what this does is it uh, allows the app, if it's on, to refresh the content. So that means update it or do all that stuff while on Wi-Fi or cellular. Now, this will use your cellular data. So you do want to be careful of when doing this if you have a limited data amount. All right. Now, if we go back into settings and general, we're at our notification center. We're going to make sure all our notification center options are disabled because this will also decrease our battery life from when they're noti notifying us of the pop-ups, banners, and all that stuff. If we go to today, as you guys see, I have no notifications set up because they're all gone and disabled. So the control center, you can't really worry about that. That doesn't really matter. But um, if we go down now to general in our settings, we're going to go to the accessibility because that's where we're going to put it so just to show you guys there's a whole bunch of options but the main one is to go into accessibility and we're going to go down to reduce motion now reduce motion is uh, allows the transitions between closing and opening an application are um are to basically be reduced into a fade instead of one of those new transition so if we notice that when we have it on as you see when i open my application uh, or close my application it kind of fades out and fades in when opened so if we do disable it, you guys get that cool, you know, look. But still, that tends to use a lot of battery life, and that is recommended that you'd have that turned off. Now, another one, if you guys take a look right there, another one that's big is the text size because the text size will allow you to display a lot of more text than you normally would, and you also want to make sure you have your bold text turned off. Now, to re decrease your text size, you go back, go to text size, and you can adjust your size. Now, I recommend keeping it in the middle, but if you want to keep it up below that, you can. I just don't really recommend it having it that high up because it will decrease your iOS 7 battery life by a lot. All right, now one other major thing here is your wallpaper. Now, you, uh, you, wanna, you always want to keep a light wallpaper such as the one I have right now. Never want to keep a dark one. So let's go right ahead into wallpapers and brightness. Go to a wallpaper, go to stills, and you're going to want to make sure you select the light wallpaper instead of this one right over here. This black one will cause the iOS 7 device to display more light and, and using its digitizer more than it would. So I recommend choosing one of these you know, up that you see here that are light, not that dark, because that will decrease your iOS 7 battery life by a large amount. All right, now, another big one that does use a lot of battery life is the dynamic wallpapers. So I recommend to stay away from that. Now, now that is an attempt to copy Android in their dynamic or live wallpapers. Although they look cool, I recommend to stay away because if you see right there, they do display some really cool graphics. All right, so if you guys like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe. See you in my next one, guys. Peace.